Okay, continuing on. Now we have all of our controls set up so that those deformers are moving. Those clusters are moving with them. Let's turn everything back on. All right, and we can turn off the visibility of the clusters. We can either do that by going to show and turning off deformers, or you could go in and individually turn off the um, visibility of them by hitting control H. I'll just do the easy way for now. And let's see what we get when we move these around. Obviously, there is still a little bit of an issue uh, with the skin weights, but that's something we can clean up. <clears throat> what we do want to try to do is get a few more controllers in here to uh, control the rest of the joints that are sitting here in the middle. So really quickly, let's just do that. We will start by creating another NURB circle. This time we're going to do it slightly different. We'll make it quite big. Um, I will turn off the the selection of joints and let's go to control vertex for that and I'm just going to select the outer four corners here like this and I'm going to scale them scale them up <clears throat> so this becomes a bit more like a square and then I'll just take the whole object and shrink it down a bit and let's take that and hold down V and point snap that to the joint right there. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's do the same thing. Let's duplicate this now. And we'll put this up here. And we will point snap that to that joint. And we'll do the same thing for the top one. So duplicate and point snap. There we go. <clears throat> what we can do though is we can change the size of uh, these controls a little bit. So let's scale that down. Pull it in a little bit. Uh, this one here, probably okay as it is. We don't need to get really fancy with it. Um, and let's just go in and freeze transformations on those. <clears throat> okay, now we have some basic controls and we will set these up so that they sit um, as parents of each other. So we will take, uh, let's start here, we'll call this the bag bottom control and then we'll have the um, bag mid control and bag top control okay and let's take the uh, top and put that as a child of the mid and then do the same thing below that <clears throat> that way now as I rotate these you'll see that they automatically rotate with each other all right, so let's go in now and attach these through parent constraints. So I'm just going to turn off the visibility of the bag again. I'm going to select the uh, I'm going to select the joint, and I'm going to shift select the control here. I'm going to go to constrain parent. Let's use the default options. Make sure maintain offset is on. Now when I rotate this, oops, actually I should have gone the other way around. A bit backwards. Grab this first, then the joint. There we go. Sometimes I do that backwards. There we go. That moves it correctly. Do the same thing up here. Grab that, then the joint. Apply. And finally do that for this last joint up here. Apply. All right, so those are moving around correctly. All right, now obviously it's not moving the straps with it, so that's something that we need to think about how we want to, to handle that. Okay, so right now if we move this around, obviously it's not moving the strap with it. It would be better if we were able to move this and the straps were to kind of come along for the ride. So one way we can do that is to take this control here and take the group associated with um, either one of these. We'll take the left group first. We'll go bag bottom, control click on... Uh, the left group, and we'll go to constrain parent, and let's do the same thing now for the other side. Grab the group, constrain parent. Now when I move this, oops, it looks like one of them's moving, but the other one's not, so that's interesting. I probably did something wrong there. Let's go back, back a couple steps. Let's just try that again. So click, bag bottom, click. Constrain parent, let's just test it, make sure it's working. 
Interesting. Wonder why that's not working. Yeah, I just found that I had a little spare thing. A little, it was an extra parent constraint that I had created, so that won't affect your scene. It was just something that I had done in my scene. So if I undo what I did real quick there, and try that again, hopefully it will work this time. I'm sure it's not hanging around again. There we go. So we'll go click there, constrain, parent. There we go. That's moving. Cool. Do the same thing for this side. Just as I was doing before. It was the correct method. It's just for some reason I had a little stray thing in my file that was getting in the way. Cool. So that's moving around now. The only issue that we can really see with this is that, of course, these straps down here don't stay connected to the rest of the bag. But that's okay. That is something we could go in and animate uh, by hand uh, if we needed to. So really, this just helps us to get this bag into place um, as easily as possible. The only thing really now that needs to be done is to clean up the skin weights. So let's just do that in the next video.